joined with Chris Carl, the CEO of DigiCrypt Blockchain Solutions. Happy holidays to you, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? Excellent. Uh, I know last time we spoke, there was a lot of movement that was going on with the share price and volume and that. And here we are three, four weeks later, and it's like copy and paste. But wow, this has been incredible, this story. There's a lot of volume going on. There's a lot of interest as the story starts to garner more attention. Uh, what's the reaction been, I guess, from you? And uh, are you surprised at all of how this has performed so quickly? Well, we're very pleased with the way the company is performing and, yep. and the way we're building out um, along the lines that we, uh, we promised we would be. Um, you know, it's always nice when the share price follows that action. And, and certainly, yep. I guess that's been happening. But we, you know, we don't manage the company based on the share price. Uh, share price reflects how well, hopefully, uh, we're managing you know, the company. And uh, with the announcements over the last couple of days, you know, we have our, our app out now um, in circulation for our cryptocurrency trading. Uh, it seems to be being well received. Uh, we have an ever increasing population of people running trials on it. Um, and we hope to have that out into the public domain, uh, you know, over the next uh, sort of 30, 45 days. Um, so that's a big, big part of, yep. of what's bringing value to the company for sure. Um, the announcement that we put out this morning uh, well, Friday and this morning in terms of closing our acquisition um, of Darwin mm -hmm. and, and, and acquiring all those assets. I guess that was Monday morning's announcement. Today's Tuesday already. And then this morning's announcement uh, that we're bringing in the founder of Darwin as our chief you know, technology officer of the whole company. Um, and he's former IBM. He's just got credentials you know, all day long. Um, and, and the fact that we're going into a whole new application of, of using predictive analytics, um, all of those things I think are being reflected in the stock price. And they're all part of the plan that we had when we originally acquired Data Navi. And, and that wasn't really a, a, so much a DigiCrypt's plan as Data Navi was already in process of doing these things. And that's why we got together. And now we're executing on, on their plan as well as our own as DigiCrypt's. So what opportunities, if I'm an investor new to the story and I'm learning more and more, the announcement you made this morning, somebody with the background with IBM, you're putting all these pieces together, but what, what, with that announcement this morning, uh, what opportunities does that bring to the company? Well, I think you know, what we sort of look at it as is, is data analytics uh, for DigiCrypts and, and Data Navi is, is all about really providing um, forward-looking information for decision-making for two primary areas, the better utilization of your financial capital or better utilization of your human capital. Right. And today's announcement is very much more about the human capital side, but both of them are trying to make more efficient use of what you already have. You know, whether you're a stock investor, um, a cryptocurrency investor and having better information to make long-term investment decisions in the form of private placements, day-to-day -day decisions in the form of cryptocurrency trading. Um, all of those things are what we do now as, as DigiCrypts and Data Navi. Um, but the other side, as of today, and, and this whole um, ability to uh, assess and pre-assess individuals uh, for their aptitude toward certain types of jobs, and in this case, police forcing or the police forces, um, that's better utilization of human capital. And, and right. that's critical in today's crazy world that we're living in. Well, you, you talked about, obviously, the, the, the topic of police. And, you know, you made an announcement earlier this week that you're launching a projector personality interpreter. So I understand this is obviously being designed to assist with personnel decisions. So maybe talk a little bit more as to how this is, what is it exactly and how it works? Sure. So, um, you know, anybody who's ever been hired in a larger company uh, has probably gone through some sort of assessments and what have you. Yep. Um, and it's usually based on a questionnaire that you do. And, and you know, it, it, the results are dependent on you know, how much coffee you've had, you know, how good a sleep you had the night before and whether you're mm -hmm. alert or not. Um, and that's all good information. And then we're not putting that down at all, but it's very, you know, sort of on the minute and kind of what, what kind of a mood and, and place you're in that day. Um, what this technology does is it reaches out into all of the available data about an individual, their social media, um, you know, electronically, of course, through artificial intelligence, anything that's ever been written about them, it will reach back into their academic records. I mean, anything right. that's out there that's data. And I mean, on one hand, it's, it's scary because, you know, we're all exposed to this, yeah. <laughs> but we all know it's there and it reaches out and finds that and it makes an assessment, not based on the questionnaire that you wrote this morning, but based on what your whole life has been like. And, mm -hmm. and then what aptitudes are they looking for? In the case of police forces and what we've been going through, you know, primarily in the United States, but Canada and Toronto has been seeing the same thing. You know, it's a rough world out there. And yeah, for sure. on the one hand, 
I, you know, we have to have a lot of compassion for anybody who's a policeman because Absolutely. they're faced every day with the dangers that are, you know, something that the rest of us couldn't even think about. But on the other side, they need people who, in the face of that danger, have proven that they can stand up tall and still be compassionate themselves. Right. Know? And and so for new hires, I think, and, and I'm very much, you know, sort of generalizing, and different roles are, you know, require different aptitudes, but it allows police forces to kind of go back and try to find that specific and unique character that's going to be strong in, in the face of adversity wow, and that's interesting. at the same time. But there's a second application here, and this has been developed with the police forces um, or several police forces over many, many months now and even more than a year, even among the groups that they have. Um, and and I, I was hearing my own interview on this before I even you know, met up with, with, with Dad and Abby and Darwin about six or eight months ago. You know, even among squad cars that are going out, you know, to have a balance within their own group of police people that they already have, where they've got somebody who's kind of really strong, might be a little bit more ruthless because it's tough times, and, and, and matching them up, not with somebody who's like-minded, but somebody who's maybe on the more compassionate side. And as a team, That's they're much stronger than having two people that are very, very similar. And so there's both of these ways that these program can be used. Well, the timing seems to be like incredible because as you said, like there's your challenging times. You've seen a lot of protesters, you know, especially over the past summer talking about, you know, defunding, uh, defunding the police. Uh, it's become somewhat of a rallying cry. So using these analytics to better allocate funds seems to make a lot of sense. So do you think this will change the evolution of policing? Um, well, Change I know it sounds a little extreme, but at the same time, it's it's a fascinating story to say the well, least. But you're, you 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 nailed the word. It's everything is an evolution. It's not a revolution, but I think that we are bringing them a tool that does two things. Yes, it saves them massive amounts of money in terms of the hiring process, both in terms of how uh, much more expedient that process can become, as well as avoiding the mistakes because it's, right. it's a huge cost. You know, to train somebody who at the end doesn't make it through because at the end of the day, their personality really isn't, doesn't match up with what they you know, filled out on that original questionnaire that one day, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so we help avoid that massive amount of training costs that doesn't have to get incurred for people who don't make it through the system. But we also um, help automate the process of finding the right people up front. So it does save a lot of money. And more importantly than saving money though, it helps them end up with new recruits that are much more, you know, aligned with the kind of people they need today. Right. You know? crazy policing i have to ask you how did this all come about the idea and to uh, bring this all to fruition um i have to give credit to you know to both the darwin people and the data navi people yeah um, both of them had an interest in this area both had interest in both financial capital and human capital gotcha. um, that's why we got involved originally with data navi data navi has has in turn you know met along the way over the last couple of years um, you know, the people from Darwin seeing the parallels that they were, you know, they were working on. Um, Darwin has done a tremendous job on the technical side. Um, and, and Dad and Abby has built up relationships at the customer end as well. And so between the two groups, I think that we are not only um, a, a, suddenly a world leader in this particular application, but also we've got all of the relationships already embedded uh, in terms of the various police forces. And, and we're ready to go immediately. And in, in some cases, it's already been utilized on trial basis um, by a couple of police forces in the United States. So this is very, very well advanced. Huge. So this seems to me like the tip of the iceberg. You know, you talk about policing, but, you know, as there, there's got to be multiple industries that, you know, you could not ask you to tell me exactly who you've been speaking to. But at the same time, this has to be the tip of the iceberg as far as other industries uh, with regards to how this application works, right? Well, absolutely, because every company, whether it's you know, an empo you know ten employees or whether it's ten thousand employees right. or a hundred thousand employees, you know, goes through some form of hiring process and analytical process to figure out you know whether they're trying to get the right employees. If at, at at no incremental cost, we can give them information that's five times better, five times more accurate, and and frankly, five times faster. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody's going to want to use this. So for now, we're concentrating on on using this, this, this sort of application within the police forces. That's a big undertaking unto itself, but in time, and whether that's measured in, you know, in several months or a year or two years, we definitely want to open this up into, you know, other organizations, um, every bank in the world, every right. large corporation. I'm here, we're partnered with IBM on the one hand, but IBM themselves, you know, hires an awful lot of employees every year. And for them to turn around and be able to use this, type of software for their own hiring is going to improve their processes as well. 
It's interesting to say the least. Listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us today. Congratulations, obviously, with the recent announcements and uh, happy holidays to you and your family. And let's keep in touch. Great. Well, I look forward to continued progress on building the, the platform that we are. Yeah, uh, for sure. It's been a great story to say the least. Keep up the great work. Happy holidays. Yeah.